Hi everyone, so in this video I'm doing the style challenge and I've seen this um, going around a long time ago but like people still do it every now and then and I, I really wanted to try it and at first I was thinking, I was trying to brainstorm a whole list of different shows and games and movies and just different styles that I wanted to try and uh, I came up with about 20 and I was like okay maybe I'll try to do 20 and then as I was working on them I was like okay maybe 10 is a bit better and then in the end I think I did six because it took so long. I had about eight hours of footage and uh, I was trying to make it for this Friday. So I had to like kind of cut down on how many I wanted to do, but this gives me a chance in the future to do more with a different character because I just designed a random girl to do for all of these, but maybe I'll do a male character next or just a different design. Cause I was kind of getting tired of doing the same character over and over and over. So I think it's good to split it up like this. So in the future I'll do more. Uh, I'll, I'll like add on to my styles that I, that I attempted. So basically the style challenge is when you draw a, something first in your style. So you just do a normal illustration how you would do it and then you kind of pick styles from different cartoons or TV shows. So like maybe The Simpsons, maybe Gravity Falls, uh, Steven Universe, uh, Rick and Morty, stuff like that. And you try to draw it in those styles. And you will see what styles I went with. I decided to stick with things that I watch that I really like or things that I just really like the style of. Well, all, all of these shows I've watched um, or just like the general theme, I've seen those movies before. So all these styles are things that I know of and that I've seen. So that's kind of what I tried to do for this one. And uh, in the future, I might do more styles, like I said, but in this video, I think there's six, but including my style, seven? Yeah, I think there's seven, but I just did a simple digital portrait of a girl. This was good practice for me. Um, it went faster than usual, I think, and I had a lot of fun doing it because it was really simple. Um, well, oh, simple meaning it was just a headshot, just a portrait, and I think I made her neck a little too long and like the angle of her head is a little bit weird, but um, I don't think it's that bad or that noticeable, I don't know. But I had a lot of fun with the colors. I, I don't know why, but in my mind, the color palette that I wanted to do was like yellow, yellow and gray, like those were the colors that I wanted to work with. So I did kind of like brown hair with yellow um, tips to them, which was kind of a mistake because cartoons you never really see gradient on hair, like how are you supposed to make that blend from yellow to brown? But I tried to make it work in the ones that I did, but this is just my style in the beginning. And uh, I shaded the brown hair with like purpley colors and that was a lot of fun to do. And I kind of tried to make her eyes a bit darker and I tried to exaggerate the shading around her eyes because I like doing kind of darker shadows near the outer corners of her eyes as if she's wearing like eyeshadow or something. But I like to think of that as just being like the tone of her skin, but her lips are also kind of a dark brownish color too. And I just wanted it to be really earthy, but also bright at the same time because of the yellow. And it was just really fun. Like I enjoyed doing my style more than all the other styles because it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but I'll get into that once I start them. Um, once you see me beginning those and I had to redo a lot of them over and over, especially one of them, but I'll talk about that soon. And I like to keep my brush strokes kind of loose and visible. I don't like to over blend things because I, I'm not really successful in doing that yet, but I'm sure eventually my art will progress towards a more kind of blended style or just still with brush, still with brush strokes visible, but blending and brush strokes, that's kind of what I want to work towards. So I want to do a lot of uh, painting practices and uh, practices, painting practice and backgrounds too in the future. I just, digital art is just so much fun. I don't know why I like it so much. It's just, you can do whatever you want and you don't have to wait for paint to dry. You don't have to mix colors. You don't, there's no fear of wasting materials. You can just jump in and paint and if it doesn't work out, no big deal. You delete it or you just don't work on it. It doesn't take up space in your art room or, or your studio, it's just a file on your computer. I just really like digital art and it makes me want to do traditional painting more, especially acrylics because I really like working with acrylics, so I really want to do that too. There's so many things that I want to do, I just don't know if I'm gonna have the motivation or energy or time to do all of them, but I think that's the end of my style. Yes, now I'm just kind of like resizing it, trying to fit it onto the smaller canvas, and I changed the font eventually, and now I'm doing the Powerpuff Girls and I love the Powerpuff Girls. Oh my gosh, it was my favorite show when I was younger and I would always 
like search through the channels every like weekend looking to see if it was on and I have the movie still and I still kind of like watching it. <laughs> I don't know why. The other day I was thinking of doing some Powerpuff Girl fan art and uh, I was watching some of the shows. Only a few of them, like just like a little snippet, but it's just, it's just so good. It's just such a good show. And I've never really seen the remake. I don't know if I want to. I don't know how different it is. I know that their eyelid color is different, but, um, and there's also Powerpuff Girls Z, which is like an anime, but I'm not a big fan of that. I, the designs are cool, but I don't know. The whole atmosphere of the show is different, but oh my gosh, but Powerpuff Girl characters are so hard to draw because their heads are circles and their circles have very specific like angles of when they turn their head the circles get kind of squished and the hair is just glued to their head with like you can the hair kind of sticks like their bangs kind of stick to their head so th that was fun though and the next one is Gravity Falls which I love I watched all of it I would highly recommend this show it may seem like a kid's show but it's not well it is but it's like it's the kind of show that everyone can enjoy and it's um it's just so clever and um, it's just a great show and I found this kind of difficult to draw in that style because it just kind of ended up looking like Mabel's face with different hair and I couldn't get it to like look like a different character so I don't know it's just a character with curly hair that kind of looks like Mabel <laughs> kind of I don't know and uh, there, there's nothing specific about the character I invented in the beginning. It's just some random design that came to my head, so I went with it for the rest of the style. So that's Gravity Falls, which I love and I would highly recommend this show. I want to do fan art of that show too. And you'll notice throughout the speed paint, I keep going back to Gravity Falls and I keep fixing it over and over. And um, it's almost as if I'm not satisfied with it. And I make a different version of it with like looser lines that I just ends up not looking that good. So then I end up deleting it. but. I'm constantly tweaking it throughout the whole video, so I'll, I'll like start another style and then I go back. And this is Adventure Time, which is okay. Like I watched a little bit of it. I the one thing about the show though is the style that I really like, and I know a lot of people do. Just the arms, it's just cute. It's just so cute. Like they're they ha they're just little happy faces. They're just little dot eyes and a little smile, and it's just so simple and cute. So I really like the style of that show. So that's why I wanted to do it for the style challenge. And I noticed with uh, Marceline, that's her name, right? With her hair, she kind of has like a circular highlight and her hair kind of like fades to different colors. So I took advantage of that. And I missed a large portion of the, oh my gosh, how do you say this? Studio Ghibli, is that how you say it? Um, I never know how to pronounce it, but oh my gosh, these movies, I would highly recommend. They're so good. And I tried to do it in the style, but it just ended up looking like Chihiro with different hair which is the girl in that reference thing with the green shirt. It just ended up looking like her with different hair, but I don't know. I, I should have tried something different, but I kind of wanted to, I wanted to, I based it off of her face, so that's why it looks like her, but I could have done a different eye style or like a longer face so that she looked older because Chihiro, I think, is younger compared to some of the characters. I don't know, though. But yeah, I did uh, Studio Ghibli. I don't know if that's how you say it. Is it Ghibli or Ghibli or I don't know. I never know how to pronounce it because I hear people say it differently all like all over the place. And with that, um, with all of their movies, their backgrounds are really detailed and nice and the characters have simple cell shading so I took full advantage of the cell shading with this one because um, most cartoons don't really have shading so for even though it's not a cartoon it's like, I mean all the other ones are cartoons, they don't have detailed shading but this show not show these movies are a lot more detailed so I was happy about that because I can make her hair kind of look more like the way it's supposed to look and it just looks strange like it doesn't look like in the style of the mo uh, of uh, the studio Ghibli oh my gosh I don't know if that's how you say it but it just looks like Chihiro with different hair I don't know I don't I tried kind of like how Gravity Falls just looks like Mabel with different hair oh and now I'm fixing up the Gravity Falls again <laughs> Cause I don't know why it just didn't look right to me. It just looked strange. I don't know, but I kept fixing it and changing things. I tried to add kind of lipstick to the characters because my character looked like she had lipstick. That kind of helped make them look a bit different than the face that I based them off of. But I think I ended up removing the lipstick from the Gravity Falls one. And the thing about these is it's so hard to draw. I'm so used to doing digital paintings that doing really clean line work and colors is hard for me. 
I missed the recording of this one too, but this is Over the Garden Wall, just the beginning of her. I ha I've only seen about two or three episodes, but I really want to watch more. I just like the whole mood of the show. It's just so quirky and strange, but their faces kind of remind me of Animal Crossing characters because Animal Crossing people, they like your, uh, your little player, they have like a triangular nose or like a circular nose or I'm not sure what different kinds of noses there are, but the triangle nose is what... I remember most and I love Animal Crossing. I wanted to do that in here but I just didn't have time. It was already going on like eight or nine hours and I want to, I was getting tired of doing the same character over and over so I'm gonna do a new one with a different character. And the last one of course who, who wouldn't include Tim Burton in their style challenge. I know everyone does this but it's because it's fun. Oh you know now I'm going back to the Gravity Falls one because I wanted to try redoing it but I don't end up going with this, but I wanted to go with like looser lines and thicker lines and make it kind of smaller, not as like contained, um, not, not as neat as before, but it just doesn't look the way I wanted it to and I end up going back to the first one that I made because it started to look better after doing this one because this one looked worse to me. And I tried to do a little gradient with her hair, but I don't really think that matches the style of the show. So I end up... I'm like switching between them like oh which one should I use I don't know so back to the Tim Burton one um, it's just like dark styles are just so fun to do um, I loved I just love the eyes how it's like it's like in a really dark socket and the colors are muted and dark and like the skin has this bluish tone to it and like a pale tone to it because all the characters are like they kind of look dead but they're not I think one of my favorite movies one of my favorite Tim Burton movies was Corpse Bride because I think it was one of the first ones I saw and I just it scared me at first but when I got older I found it like really interesting like the whole world was really cool and uh, I made it too dark at first but um it's like so dark compared to the rest of them but I really wanted to emphasize that about the style just so it's like kind of like a huge contrast between the rest of them so I had a lot of fun doing the style challenge. It's a lot of work though. Prepare yourself if you plan to do this, if you want to make them. There's so many things you have to observe about all the styles and like, okay, how do they position the head? Like what are their, what are the proportions like? Do, do, do they allow the eyebrows to go over top of the hair? Do the eyes go over top of the hair? There's just so many tiny little things that make every style unique that you have to notice and it's sometimes it's hard to notice them and it takes you a few tries but it's really fun in the end and I think it's also really good practice. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.